Okay, I'm going to show you real quick how to use webcam settings, which is about an $8 app from the Mac store, but it's going to allow you to adjust the exposure, the brightness, saturation, things like that. So let me show you how it works. When you launch it, it shows up here, up in your top menu bar, and you can choose which camera you want to adjust. I'm using a Logitech uh, C910, and here are our settings. Now, uh, you can see here that we can set it for aperture priority, which is great. That's generally what I set my webcams, not excuse me, it's generally what I set my cameras on. Uh, uh, standard um, video cameras, I set for aperture priority. I even do that with my uh, DSLR a lot of the times. Uh, you can change to manual uh, exposure mode, which is going to allow you to make some changes. Now I'm going to adjust the exposure and you're going to see how it really brightens and blows it out or pulls it down a little bit. So let's just make a few adjustments here. We can adjust the gain, which is like the brights, the bright brights. And then we can adjust the brightness a little bit, adjust the contrast a little bit. You gotta be careful with the contrast because in this camera, the contrast is varying degrees of extreme. So you're gonna wanna play with that. Let's see, making Making this adjustment, pulling it down just a little bit. Let's see. You can see I'm trying to tweak here and find just the right, just the right mix. Pick up the exposure a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, all things considered. Now I am sitting in front of a window. I have a, a window uh, at about a 45 degree angle from myself. Um, in this room it is an optimal type setup unless I wait and do, and do this at night when I just have the room lights on. I'm at my parents house and they have uh, a lot of fluorescent lighting in here so I can actually turn this fluorescent lighting on and basically get a good wash on myself. But during the day when I've got the windows and the light streaming in I have to make a few adjustments. Um, you can also change the color temperature. You see, it's a it's a very broad adjustment. It just changes the warmth, so I can warm it up just a little bit. Now, if we leave it to auto, that's where it was. We can set it to this slightly warmer if I like that. You can also adjust the saturation. Again, depending on your camera, will depend on how great um, these changes uh, take effect. You can see I'm really blowing it out. I mean, really, really bad. And then you can also adjust the sharpness. So it's just a basic sharpening filter. If you need, you can back it off a little bit. And there we go. Now, let's take a look at the advanced tab. Um, for the focus, I can actually adjust that. My camera allows me to adjust that. So I can actually focus if I need to. I'll usually leave it on auto. I can also do zooming, which is cool. So it's going to move the uh, image up to the next, the next zoom level. Uh, and then it lets me pan and tilt accordingly. So obviously this is not the type of image I would want to use because my face is huge right in the middle of the camera. But if I were doing this uh, with a smaller person or if I were doing this where the camera is farther away, I could, because my camera allows me to do this, adjust these settings and get it set up exactly the way I need it to. Now I'm just gonna zoom back out. There we are. So anyway, that's it. Um, take a look at this tweaked image and I will go back to the default and you'll see the difference. The tweaked image was definitely better looking. So with the app webcam settings as well as eyeglasses and the built-in uh, controls that a lot of cameras that are Windows based, um, the software like that comes from Logitech, allow you to make these kind of changes and tweak your image. So you're not completely at the mercy of all the auto settings and your surroundings. So I hope this helps.